breaking this up into segments. So each of these are going to be five minute increments, five minute segments. So the first one we're talking about the law of assumption. Okay. It's way greater than the law of attraction. This is a very important thing. It's only five minutes. So if you want to just tune in for the five minutes and then you're like, I, I don't want to listen to the rest. That's, that's fine by me. So this one is first feeling is the secret. This is one of the books, one of the books of Neville Goddard. Okay. Neville Goddard was the guy who was like law of attraction, law of attraction, self-concept, law of assumption, uh, you know, self-perpetuation cycle, self-fulfilling prophecy. If you've heard of any of these types of things, you are creating your own reality. You have your own belief or your own disbelief. You are creating and intercreating that. Okay. So feeling is the secret is the book, which ultimately means that your emotions are an electromagnetic pulse and electromagnetic frequency that attract realities into your life. See, and I hope that sometimes this bores people, but also I know that for the real ones, it will be high valuable. It's not going to be popular, but it'll be high valuable. So when, when you are feeling positive feelings, joyfulness, blissfulness, serenity, peace, joy, love, enlightenment, transcendence, actualization, realization, uh, happiness when you are feeling these types these states of being when you are feeling these vibrations on an emotional level and you are actually feeling it as you are receiving something you are receiving abundance you're receiving wealth you're receiving riches you're receiving you know real estate business acquisition uh fitness acquisition okay multiple streams of income a, a great relationship as you are realizing that you have a wealth and prosperity in a multitude of pillars, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, financial, wellness, as you have wealthness and wellness within these four to five pillars, you will start to realize that, oh wow, I can be grateful for these types of pillars. I have great relationships. I might not be rich, but I'm definitely, I might not be rich financially yet, just yet, but I am rich in all of these other pillars. So if I just take some of the habits, the habitual constructions, the you know experiences, the emotions, feeling is the secret, as I feel how I feel about these things, about my finances before it happens, and I assume that I am rich, I, I feel these same feelings. So wow, like I have the best relationship. How do I feel when I'm in this this amazing relationship. Now I can also do that in conjunction and in parallel with finances, with fitness. So I'll be like, wow, I feel amazing. Like, and you feel it before it happens, which is Dr. Joe Dispenza, which is also talking about what? Brain and heart, heart, heart is feeling. Brain, brain and heart coherence. Okay, then there is feeling is the secret. Your thoughts and imagination create reality. So if your thoughts and imagination create reality and you also feel, which that secretes specific, secrete, secret. As you secrete certain vibrations, then ultimately this is going to attract specific frequencies on those chemical wavelengths of secretions or chemical or or uh, neurotransmitter secretions, certain fluids within the body. Our body secretes a plentiful amount of what? Fluid, fluid as in fluent, okay? There's different types of things. Flow, cash flow. We've, we've talked about all this type of stuff, which I will get into very soon. That'll be our next one. But feeling is the secret. As you feel as if you already have it in the now, you are attracting it to you. You're not saying I want, you are implying I have, which is a state of gratitude rather than a state of lack, rather than a state of want, rather than a state of desire, okay? You can use the desire knowing that it's outside of you. Oh, I like that, but then eventually you have to embody it, okay? You can look at the external, but eventually you have to embody it, in, inner, Okay, empowerment, embodiment, intuitive, okay, external, exit, experience. You see the, the, the correlation between it. One is external, one is internal. External, everything that you see, everything that is external will disappear, okay? Everything that is internal lasts forever. Everything that is internal, everything that is unseen is eternal, okay? Now let's get into it. 
as you feel the vibrations of already being wealthy, of already being rich, of already being high value, of already being high vibe, of already having the soul tribe, of already, you know, having the, the house, the community, the sustainability, the nutritional lifestyle, the body that you want, the mindset that you want to hold, the positive values, the positive mindset, the positive emotions, as you want to be a person of impact, in a position of impact to really cultivate and build and 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 help the world feel as if it is already happening before it happens and then it will attract and can and you continuously feel it until it shows up you continuously feel it until it shows up okay we got one more minute guys now as one big thing about this i'm gonna put this timer right no. give me a sec Okay, so as we cultivate feeling as a secret, the emotionality aspect of this, we must realize that there are different levels of energy and motion. There's different levels of what? Emotion, energy and motion. Make it your inner tension, your intention, okay, to look at everything that you like, feel as if you already have it, and think the thoughts of already having it. Rather than in a state of wanting, it's in a state of implying that you already have, okay? Implication, law of assumption, okay? Law of implication. Now, the secret, the cultivation of very specific ways to manifest is feeling the secretion of already having it, which is the chemical aspect of which is the chemical aspect, the pituitary gland aspect, the pineal gland aspect. As you intercorrelate, these are Mary and Joseph in esoteric, in esoteric spirituality. Egyptian Christianity with the K. Let's get it. Stability becomes and bees by grounding. Grounding becomes foundation. Foundation becomes groundation. Groundation becomes discipline. And discipline is a disciple of your highest version within. Discipline is your highest disciple within. Okay, let's keep going. Resilience is like bamboo. It is tough in many aspects and it takes a long time to grow. But once it grows, it expands and it becomes resilient by its own nature, which means it's hard to destroy. So that means to become resilient, it takes time to grow. But once you grow it, it's hard to also what? Destroy refined by fire not burned by it reforged by fire not destroyed by it rising from the ashes is my nature evolved transmuted transformed alchemized magician stronger better faster more efficient phoenix being a phoenix cultivating phoenix emotions so transmutation of negative into positive negative mindsets into positive depression into joyfulness uh, negativity into positivity. Okay. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Emotion, energy and motion. Energy is energy, inner God. Inner energy is not created nor destroyed. It's only transformed or transformed. Sounds like something that you already know. Emotion is energy in motion or action. Motion is action. Motive. A motive is an act, is an action. Okay. So energy is E eternal energy okay internal eternal vibrational energy is language vibrational energy different vibrations are different languages are different etymological articulations of words energy vibrates at specific frequencies you speak specific frequencies in specific languages the law of vibration activates within similar universal laws based on those frequency vibrational wavelengths when somebody says Dude, you're on my fucking wave. You're on my wave. You're on my wave. That's literally what it is. It's literally what it is. Because we're on specific wavelengths, we attract specific wavelengths. People who want things are going to attract people who want things. People who have things attract having. 